Welcome again. Right now we're at Romans chapter 12. And this time we're only talking about one verse here because it's so much packed into it. Verse 1, talking about living sacrifices. Paul says, Therefore I urge you, brothers, by the mercies of God, I urge you, hear that, I urge you by the mercies of God to present your bodies a living sacrifice. And there it is, living sacrifice, holy acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service. Some translations say reasonable service, reasonable act of worship, intelligent, rational, reasonable. This is your way of serving God. Now, I heard a lot of people talk about living sacrifices. You know, they use this as an excuse, more or less, to sin. They say, well, The only thing about living sacrifices is that living sacrifices have a tendency to crawl off the altar, you know. And so what they're saying is basically, you know, when you sin, you know, you just got to crawl back up on the altar because you're a living sacrifice. But listen, Paul who wrote this is the same one that wrote Romans chapter 6 when he said, how can you, speaking to the same people, I mean, in context, how can you who are dead to sin, live in it any longer. He also said in Galatians chapter 2, I am crucified. I have been crucified with Christ. Not I am in the process of being crucified. No, I have been crucified. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. So this is what the term living sacrifice really means. It means you are sacrificed, you are dead to sin, but you are living at the same time. You are born again, so the life you now live, if you are, if, that is a big if, if you are truly born again, the life you now live is a life of holiness, righteousness. You're living God's will, God's ways, God's law in and through your life. That is what makes you a new creation. You can say all of the old is gone and everything has become new. I am born again. You know, some people use this term living sacrifice to say, well, you know, more or less I'll sin now, but I'll repent later. You know, uh, now I'm off the altar. Now I'll crawl back on. You know, some people may say, well, I'm in the flesh now, but I'll repent later. I'll, you know, now I'm in the flesh and then I'm in the spirit. That is total nonsense. It is blasphemy against God. It is absolutely wrong. It's not what Paul said at all. That's not what he meant. Again, look at Romans chapter 6. Look at the book in Colossians when he talks about being dead to sin. Look in Galatians when he talks about being crucified. I have been crucified. He's talking about death, complete and total, utter death to sin and living again to God in holiness and righteousness. We'll get to it later, but you know, Hebrews chapter 6, it talks about those who have once tasted the heavenly gift and then fallen away, it's impossible for them to come back. That's because if you once really, if you truly are saved, if you truly are born again, you're dead. Once sin is dead, it's dead. A dead man cannot sin. And that's basically what Hebrews chapter six is all about. And as always, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.